defined roles and responsibilities. Projects are cross-functional and may involve one organization or multiple organizations with different organizational structures, which may not be suited to plan and implement the project on hand. Hence, it is mandatory that every PRINCE2 project has a defined project management team structure with defined and agreed responsibilities for each of the project management team role. Adhering to this principle increases the probability of involving right people in the project to carry out the project work. As PRINCE2 is based on a customer-supplier environment, it is mandatory for the project to have representation for all the three primary stakeholders, i.e. business, user, and supplier. It is important for the project management team personnel to be clear about what their contribution to the project is going to be. Also, to facilitate effective communication within the project team and with external stakeholders, it is mandatory for every project to have a communication management strategy. Let's look at the application of this principle with the use of an example. A company in the business of infrastructure development has undertaken a housing project. This project will have a temporary organization formed of people with different skill sets in areas such as finance, architecture, plumbing, electrical, masonry, etc. To ensure compliance with the obligations of the defined roles and responsibilities principle, it must be ensured that the project team has three levels, i.e. project board, project manager, and team manager with defined and agreed responsibilities for each of the team role. And the project management team has representation for all the primary stakeholders, i.e. business, those who fund the project such as board of directors or majority stakeholders of the company, etc. Users, those who use, maintain, or are affected by the outputs such as people who inhabit the houses, maintenance staff, marketing department, etc and supplier, those who create or provide specialist resources to create the deliverables such as construction firms, firms supplying raw materials, etc.